So you've been in, you know, now three different NFL locker rooms, as well as some great teams at Texas. And you've been around a lot of different coaches, a lot of different players that have performed at such a high level, including yourself. You know, a lot of people aspire to accomplish some of the things that, that you have and that you are currently doing as a NFL player. When you think about that, give us an example. Take us inside uh, someone that you think was a good leader, a good teammate that exuded confidence in a healthy way. Earl Thomas. Before you even answer the question, the first name that came to mind was Earl Thomas. He's, I guess he's with the, he was with the Seahawks for some years. Now he's with the, what team is he with now? Ty went to the Chiefs. Earl is with the, I don't even remember what team he's with right now. It's crazy. He played with Seattle for so long. Well, anyways, he's a Pro Bowl, uh, Pro Bowl safety, unbelievable player. And he's a guy who just is unbelievably confident. And I saw it in college. We came out together. We were, we were 18 years old. Or, you know, we both were recruited the same recruiting class. And I remember the way he practiced, his first practice. Earl's not a big guy. He's a smaller guy, especially for a safety. But every single day, he brought the heat. What I mean by that is we had a practice. And it was uh, not that it was walkthrough pace, but it was kind of like the third string guys, the rookies, the freshmen, the guys who didn't, didn't know what they were doing. And Earl came in day one from a safety position and he, he, he read the run, he saw the play come in and just came down like a missile full speed and smacked the running back. And it was a big, fast, strong junior, senior running back. And from that moment forward, he became Earl Thomas. That was practice number one. And so what I mean by that is it didn't, like he's a pro bowler, but he didn't just show up in games. The way you saw him in, in practice was the same thing that everyone saw in games. Same thing that went out off the field. We, I remember we'd go bowling all the time and we would compete in bowling as well. So we'd go, there's a little bowling alley at our, on our campus. We would just go bowl and bowl, bowl and he wanted to get better at bowling. It seemed like everything he did, he wanted to get better at. I think that's another thing that, that you know, great leaders or, or people who are confident do, they know what their weaknesses are and they work to get better at those weaknesses. And so he's a guy who, um, though I can't remember what team he's on right now, he just switched teams last year, but he's a guy who exudes that confidence day in, day out, week in and week out. 